Hello everybody, get ready to do lesson 3.3, Geometry 1, Math, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, email me there. 3.3, angles formed by transversals here, or uh, different standards here covered. And we have a 34-point scale sheet here. And we have 25 <clears throat> points here for your notebook. Teachers, here is today's bell work, vertical angles and decimals. Give your students, uh, give them five minutes. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> students, here's your solutions. There's one, x would equal 20. As we know, this has got to equal 150, right? <clears throat> and then when you multiply this through, it gets 43.6. Okay, transversal is a line, and students, this is a class worksheet, page one. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points. For instance, in the diagram below, the blue line T is a transversal. So you have these two lines here. Here's a transversal. The angles formed by two lines in a transversal have special names. Two angles are corresponding if they occupy corresponding positions. The following pairs of angles are corresponding angles. So <clears throat> angle one, angle five, angle one, angle five, angle two, angle six, angle four, and angle eight, and then angle three, and I guess there's supposed to be a seven there. Okay, angle three and angle seven there. Two angles are alternate interiors. They lie between the two lines on the opposite sides of the transversal. So, for example, here, <clears throat> 3 and 6 are <clears throat> alternate interiors. 4 and 5 would be alternate interior angles. <clears throat> two angles are alternate exteriors. So they lie outside the two lines on the opposite side of the transversal, so 1 and 8, angle 1 and 8 are alternate exteriors. Angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles. Two angles are the same side interiors, they lie between the two lines on the same side of the transversal, so the following pairs of are uh, same side interiors, 3 and 5, 4 and 6. Lines intersected by a transversal can be parallel or not parallel. So lines intersected by a transversal can be parallel or not. They don't have to be parallel or not parallel. Students, define transversal and corresponding angles in your own words. Students, define alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles in your own words. Students, define the same side interior angles in your own words. Okay, example one, describe angles formed by transversals. We have angle one, angle two here, and here's our diagram. Describe the relationship between the angles. So what are one and two? They're alternate interiors, they're alternate sides of the transversal on the interior side of these two lines. Angle three and four, what are these two angles here? Alternate exteriors, or alternate on the exterior side of these two lines. And then five and six, what are five and six in this case here? They're same side interiors, same side interiors. Okay, I got to practice here. Students, this is yours. Describe these two. If you don't get a solution, you may get a solution. And then describe the relationship between the angles. I have to say that <clears throat> these are a, a bit of what solution PowerPoints look like out there. So if you want them for your skill checks, email me. <clears throat> okay, for four and five. We got alternate interiors, angle four and angle five are alternate interiors. And then four and six are same side interiors, four and six. 
Example two, identify angles formed by transversals. We have a situation here. We have a transversal here and these two lines here. List all pairs of angles that fit the description. So corresponding, <clears throat> which angles here would be corresponding angles? Well, let's see, one and five, three and seven, two and six and four and what's left? So what's behind this classwork here? One and five, one and five, three and seven, two and six and four and what? Four and eight. So this would be eight back in here. And then alternate exteriors. Alternate exteriors would be one and eight, one and eight, three and six. This would be six here, so it would be three and six. And then alternate interiors would be two and seven, two and seven. And this would be four, four and five here. This is five at back here, angle five. And then same side interiors will be two and five, two and five, and then four and seven. Okay, another set here, guided practice, three and four. <clears throat> okay, so, whoa. Describe the relationship between the angles of angle one, angle five. Angle one, angle five are corresponding angles here. They're on the upper side of the of the one of the lines here with the transversal crosses so one and five be corresponding two and six would be corresponding <clears throat> four and eight and three and seven will be corresponding describe relationship between the angles uh angle two and seven what are they they're alternate exterior angles alternate exteriors here and this is a solution powerpoint here this is what a solution powerpoint is <clears throat> And that is uh, lesson part one of lesson 3.3. Part two and part three are available here as well as solution PowerPoints. Thank you very much.